They're back. Greetings, royal family. Thanks for clicking on the video. Welcome back. You're back. I'm back. We're back. Okay. So, Love and Hip Hop ATL Season 10. 10 years they've been in the game. Season 10 is back. We've got some new faces, got some old faces. But you guys already know. Most of you probably already seen the episode. So, without further ado, let's get right on into it. Okay. So, Yandy is back. Yandy moved to Atlanta which I saw come in. I've done commentary on Yandy renewing her uh, wedding vows in Dubai. And I said, eh, this is probably for Love & Hip Hop New York. Then I realized she's probably going to be on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta because she moved to Atlanta. She has a business. So, you know, she wants a fresh start. Mendeecees wants to get out of New York. So she's now a Southern peach or whatever the heck she called herself so i mean yandy is still doing her you know philanthropic work she's still protesting um her father lives in atlanta so the kids will be close to their grandpa you know mendici seems to be adjusting pretty well he has concerns about yandy you know protesting and being so hands-on uh with these movements and these foundations that she is a part of Rightfully so. I, I can totally understand his concern. But I think Yandy can handle herself. She's been doing a good job handling herself. I have to say this. I'm glad that I don't see Yandy going the route of being ratchet and being involved in drama, like with Chrissy and stuff. That that doesn't look good on Yandy. She's been in the game for 10 years now. So we want to see some evolution with these characters, right? You can still give us a little sprinkle of ratchet, a little sprinkle of ghetto, a little dash of ghetto here and there. But Yandy is a wife, a mother, a business owner. So it's good to see that she is taking the more mature route and there isn't any beef. It doesn't seem like this season so far. So shout out to you, Yandy. All right, next up, we are introduced to a new character by the name of Young Baby Tate. Now, her mother, she's a rapper. Her mom is a Grammy Award-winning singer. I think Dion Ferris is her mother's name. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So she actually has things going on so far as an independent artist, right? She was headlining. They showed her headlining at South by Southwest. She has music out. She has a manager. Um, she's booked. She's busy. And she has made a name for herself uh, coming before coming onto the show, which is also good because she can bring an audience and she can garner a new audience. So, so far, so far, so good. I mean, it's the first episode, so we're just being introduced to her. So we'll see what she brings to the table. All right, we shift gears and we see an oldie but goodie, I guess, depends on who you ask. Miss Bambi, honey, okay? Bambi with the big earrings. She is pregnant with child number three, right? Um, she looks lovely. Those earrings are very, 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 very big. Uh, yeah, but she looks great. Her and Scrappy are married. So, so far, you know, everything is, is good. Typical, you know, relationship stuff. Scrappy's not doing enough. She feels overwhelmed and tired. It is what it is, girl. Welcome to adulthood and parenthood. You, you're going to be tired, girl. You, <laughs> You have a life growing inside of you. It is what it is. But I'm pretty sure we will get the 411 later on in the season. I was hoping that Mama D would show up, but she didn't. It's okay. I can be patient because Mama D can do no wrong in my eyes. It is what it is, right? So, <laughs> you know, I, I really think this Erica Mena thing is going to be annoying. So Bambi is sitting around with the girls, Erica and Sierra, and they're having cocktails. Um, Erica looks scary and I, and I don't discuss anyone's looks, but she just, I'm just going to leave it at that. She looks scary and I don't like it. Um, Sierra, she tells Erica that, you know, she wants her and Safari to stop tweet arguing with each other. Bambi seems like she's a little bit too exhausted to even entertain this foolishness. Um, I see that this is going to be a safari smear campaign this season, uh, all in the media. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. We cannot determine what's truth and what's fiction. Um, and I just think it's all for the show, but I'll get into that later on in the review. So what's hilarious to me though, is that Erica really wants to be taken seriously as, and she's just cussing safari out 
because of his cheating. <laughs> How interesting. Those tables, they always turn, Miss Mena. They always turn. I guess she uh, now knows how DJ Envy's wife felt. Hashtag, oh well. Moving along, we shift gears to Sister Rashida and Brother Kirk. Okay, they seem to be doing pretty well in their relationship. You know, they were recently on Couples Retreat. Um, I didn't finish the show because it was whack and AJ was pretty much annoying. AJ's the counselor, actress turned counselor. You know, she seems like a very nice woman, but she was just really annoying me as a counselor. Couldn't do it. So Rashida and Kirk, you know, they're trying to get their romance on, but their youngest son blocked that pretty much. He wants to sleep in the bed with his mom and dad. So, you know, they're running a business. They're running multiple businesses, um, their restaurant or lounge they have uh, Press, which is the clothing store. Rashida opened up a second store. Um, and they have, you know, multiple business ventures that they're doing. Seems like their relationship is getting better. Uh, their son got into a little bit of legal trouble not too long ago. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to see that play out. And we're also going to see it play out where, you know, they, they handle their business. So eh, I don't expect too much drama from them. Okay. All right. Now that that's out of the way, speaking of drama, Sierra. Now I have a question. Did anyone else see that, you know, the engagement to, to BK ending like pretty soon? I did. I did. So a week after, <laughs> this is not funny, but it's kind of funny. So a week or so after uh, BK proposed to Sierra, she broke it off. You know, um, she feels bad. She says she's meeting up with her girls and they're shopping for jewelry and having champs and things and they're talking and she feels that she owes BK a conversation, some sort of closure. <laughs> Translation, she misses him, right? Now, Sierra is currently dating. She's, she has a boyfriend. Um, <laughs> and I find this very interesting. Sierra is really funny to me. Um, she thinks, I think that she feels that she has BK wrapped around her finger and to some degree she kind of does, but he is who he is. Uh, and, and I feel that they have feelings for each other, but they're just both so childish and, and petty at times. And BK doesn't seem like he's ready to settle down and neither does Sierra. Sierra tries to play like she's like little innocent, like BK and I just want nah Sierra you you want to get out there and you want to shake them things okay and by them things I mean them things okay you you want to do you and that's okay she was married for a very long time and I think she's enjoying her freedom but she kind of is used to being in a relationship but she likes her freedom. I don't know. It's it's a weird dynamic. But I understand, Sierra. I understand. But just stop playing the games. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want BK to be faithful, but you be sneaking and dipping and doing it, girl. Don't front. Anyway, so like I said, she feels that she owes him a conversation. She misses him, right? So, again, she's dating some guy, and she misses BK. So I'm saying to myself, well, damn, the new guy must be that bad, huh? If you miss BK. <laughs> Good grief. Anyway, we see Sierra. <laughs> she goes to visit BK at his clothing store. Yes, he has a clothing store in Atlanta. There were no customers in there, but whatever. This is for filming, so I totally get it. And Mama's bust through the door in her lingerie and her curls pinned up with duck clips. Sierra, where were you going? Where, where are you going? So she feels like she has to go and see him because... She has to ease his pain because he's been posting videos on Instagram, basically calling out Sierra, saying she's trying to make him look like he's the bad guy, but she's the one that dumped him, broke his heart after he proposed to her in front of everybody, and she dumped him. Yeah, whatever, BK, you laying it on thick because I don't think he was faithful either. Cut it out. So, you know, he posted his little, you know, IG video calling her a low down, dirty liar and a cheetah. So she shows up, you know, she busts through the door. <laughs> I just can't get, Ramel, Ramel. I can't get over this. Look, look at what Sierra has on. <laughs> she got her hair pinned up in the curls. 
She got her lingerie on. I can't take it. I like Sierra. She's a character to me. Like she's 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 funny, and sometimes she don't even realize she's funny. So she in the store acting like she's shopping. BK, he got hard eyes all in his eyeballs, trying to play tough, like he don't miss her, like he ain't looking at her or whatever. And she's shopping and she's calling Ramel, which is BK's real name. She's calling him Eric, which is her new boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're bickering back and forth about who cheated on who and who was faithful. And, girl, Sierra, she apologized, you know. And and, and BK, he's laying it on thick. I <laughs> When she called him Eric accidentally and walked off, I thought that that was so messed up, right? Like, the way that they bickered in the store it didn't seem like that they 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 haven't seen or spoken to each other in a long time, right? Because Sierra made it seem like she hadn't seen him in months and, you know, she's got to get this closure. But it seemed like they just talked to each other maybe like two days ago or so. It just sounds like they never stopped communicating, to be honest with you. So I, I don't know. So we'll see where this goes. I want to see what's up with this new guy that she's supposed to be dating. What's tea with him? Because it is... In the blogs, people are posting about this new guy, so I wonder if he's going to be featured uh, in the in the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about it's about to get ugly and and scripted, heavily scripted. So, Safari. Before I get to Erica Mena and Safari, Safari and Scrappy, they were in the gym and they're working out together. Safari, he you could tell that he needed to vent, right? Because things with his wife. They're just effed up. They're effed up. We've seen this foolishness playing out before the show started. I am still holding on to the idea that this is all for publicity. All of it. The filing for divorce. All of the foolishness. Um, he found his wedding pictures in the garbage. Safari, that is. And he was talking about how upset that made him. I just feel like Erica is childish. Safari is childish as well. Safari, you need to be in counseling or or at least having a conversation with Kirk. Not Scrappy. Scrappy don't even know what the heck he doing, right? Now, Safari, he expressed something that I did want to uh, want to touch on. He said that he doesn't like when he's called out of his name by his wife, specifically a B word, A double S ninja. OK, and especially in front of people. Now, I do personally, I hate seeing that ish. Real talk. Like if Safari called Erica the same thing in front of people, he would be reprimanded heavily. And you guys know that. Right. Um, I feel like that same logic should apply to women as well. You know, it, it takes me back to the time when Erica and Safari had their bachelorettes bachelor party slash baby shower bride whatever the heck it was they had it in the same location but just in separate rooms and erica got so mad because safari invited rich dollars to his bachelor party right and the way that she cussed him out in front of everyone I don't, I don't really, I don't really, I don't, I don't get down with that type of stuff. I don't like seeing it. I don't do it. If I'm going to cuss you out, boo, I'm cussing you out behind closed doors. Okay. Um, I will, I can't, I, I, tr I try my best to keep my composure, but I try to make an honest effort that if I have to cuss somebody out, <laughs> if in my younger years, I, I don't want to do it in front of a crowd. You know what I'm saying? And this is somebody that was going to be your husband at the time. He is your husband now. You felt it was okay. I don't care if you're pregnant or not. You know, people exhibit self-control when they want to. Um, and when they feel they don't have to, they won't. So she thinks that she can talk to Safari and walk all over Safari. And he allowed it. You know, so I think now what we're seeing play out, if you watch this episode and his attitude of, I don't care, is probably, he's just fed up, you know, he's just fed up. He doesn't want to deal with anything because he's probably allowed so much stuff to just like slide. And like I said, I don't care if she was pregnant or not. Um, if she was my home girl, I would definitely pull her aside and tell her about herself. Like you don't embarrass anybody <laughs> in front of anybody. You don't do that. Okay. Um, and this is the father of your child about to be your husband and all that good stuff. 
what are you doing? I, I just don't, I don't cuss him out in private. You don't have to do it in front of people. I just, I know that he was embarrassed by that. Um, I'm just a firm believer in just be careful setting out to embarrass somebody publicly. And I'll just, I'll just leave it there. Okay. Do I feel sorry for Erica though? No, I don't. Mm -mm. I don't. Um, because again, I, I, I do believe to some degree that this is a publicity stunt. Now, this is what Safari tweeted. <sighs> and I think that this was strategic. Um, he basically says that his biggest mistake is getting married and it'll never happen again. So this is one of the things that causes Erica to quote unquote black out, you know, Safari's excuse for this tweet is that Twitter is not real life. You know, the situations and the issues that they have between each other is real life. So Erica and Safari, you know, they're, um, they're talking and, and, and they just have marital gripes, you know, Safari not helping out in the house, not folding clothes, you know, Erica doing things all by herself, um, I just want to know when did they start filming? Cause I remember on social media, on their Instagram, on Valentine's day, everything was all good. They were just doing it big for the gram. It was all romantic. Safari had some stuff laid out for his wife. This, you never know with these two. I, I just, you can never tell. Now Safari, he shuts down because he doesn't like Erica's aggressive attitude. Right? So I said to myself, really Safari, you mean to tell me that you don't like that spirit? Spice that comes with this Latina that you decided to marry? Oh dear, I thought you liked spicy Latinas, right? Isn't that what attracted you to Erica? Anyway, Safari tells her that he doesn't care, right? She's 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 trying to say if you want to work things out, do you want to work things out? Safari's over. He's folding his arms, he's shutting down, he's not here for it. He tells her, look, I don't care. So she ends up storming off. And, and that's kind of where the episode ended. You know, he, he said, that's, I have to deal with this all day. She storms all over the place, stomps and slams stuff. I got to deal with that all day, every day. He's fed up. He's tired. So I seen in the trailer that their house being robbed, quote unquote, is going to be a part of the season. And I thought that that was so interesting. That just happened like two months ago or so, right? Or was it two months that she filed for divorce? This is so interesting. Now Safari, he's in Jamaica. Uh, his baby is in the NICU. And he is getting tore apart, torn apart on social media. You know, he's being called a jerk. He's, he's being called insensitive. How could he leave his wife uh, and his newborn baby and be in Jamaica living it up? He recently celebrated his birthday. He had a couple of shows to do. Um, but he's not with Erica in the NICU. Now I, I'm going to say this. I don't put anything past these two and I don't put it past them, uh, as it pertains to like exploiting this situation for a reality TV show. I don't put it past them. I know that sounds crazy to say who would do such a thing, right? Erica and Safari. So I don't know. I'm not jumping on the safari hate train. I mean, if, if anybody else chooses to, that's on you. That's fine. You know, do what you wish, but I'm not jumping on the safari hate train because I, I, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they're in communication and they have an understanding. And this is just all for the show because I don't think they have a storyline outside of all of this drama. How convenient that Erica filed for divorce in May and the show just aired a week ago or so. Right. And all this drama is unfolding makes for good, makes for good reality television, but they play around with their marriage and their relationship too much, um, on social media. They go back and forth, they fight on social media just to garner attention. And next thing you know, this one has a appearance. This one has a song coming out after that. So it's like, I don't even take them seriously. I, I really don't, unfortunately. So I don't know. As far as my final thoughts on the episode, I was, I'm here for it. I'm looking forward to the new season. Uh, there's still a few, I think are two characters or two. Yeah. Characters. That's what I call them, uh, on the show or two more people on the show that we have yet to be introduced to. So once we're introduced to them, I'll incorporate them in the, uh, in the review, of course. So it appears that they've done some slight rebranding and I'm here for it. I feel like everyone looks good in their confessional. Um, I think this was a strong, season opening um 
we might be getting some interesting storylines this season. So I'm looking forward to seeing Amaretta's story. Amaretta is a rapper, a female rapper. She's also going to be on this show. Um, check. I, I I follow her. She's from uh, Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Was it Atlanta? Is it Atlanta? I think it's Atlanta. Anyway, but I I like her music. Um, I do like her style. So I'm interested to see her story. I think there's going to be some some. Ten, there is some tension between her and her mother, and we're going to see that relationship play out and what that's like. So I guess, you know, they'll be introducing her next week, hopefully. So that's it. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, season 10. Wow, 10 years. I wonder if this is going to be the last season. Probably not. So drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you saw the episode, I'm signing off. And as always, until next time, folks, peace.